everyone. Okay, how's it going? Today I am going to be trying to do bloom techniques on this canvas right here. But then I'd like to dip, this happens to be a um, martini glass, but I'd like to dip it and transpose the bloom onto the back of this. So that is my plan. I'm hoping to do that. And so, uh, yeah, so we're gonna try that. I've got all kinds of colors ready to go for some other pours that I'm doing. But right now, um, I just wanna work on to see what it could look like to do a bloom technique on the back of a, a wine glass so that you can see through it. So, all right, well, let's get started. So the first thing I need to do is I need to set my pillow paint and get that on here. So I have my Sherwin-Williams uh, Ultra White Pillow Paint and it's also a semi-gloss. And I just wanna get it on here in a, a small area and I am going to try to do a bloom and just one little area right here. Okay, just to see how that goes. Okay, so um, the first color palette I wanna try is actually my um, son and his wife's uh, colors that they had for their um, wedding. And so she loves rose gold and uh, charcoal and silver and gray. So that's what I'm gonna do first. Get the rose gold on here. Super pretty rose gold. Backdrop of that black or that, it's a dark, dark, dark gray. Let's go ahead and put silver on it. My colors are mixed with um, Sherwin Williams. Um, semi-gloss base C and then uh, my polyurethane gloss. Okay, so I think we're gonna try the first one with black uh, cell activator and we're gonna use the number one cell activator, which my number one cell activator mix is mixed with 13 ounces of Floetrol 2 one milliliter of wood conditioner. And then I mix that up together pretty pretty thoroughly. And then I add in my Amsterdam paint. So whether that is black Amsterdam paint or whether that is the white. So let's go ahead and do a little bit of black on here to see what that would look like. Okay, we're gonna try to do it with my mouth. I'm terrible at this. So uh, hopefully you can see this. Let me move this out of the way for the side view one. But here we go. Yeah, I didn't do that side very well. Did that one pretty good. So now I'm just gonna let that kind of come together. Uh, what it's doing is it's coming back to the center and um, yeah, we'll go from there. It definitely didn't do this. So I think what happened with this one is I blew down and pulled instead of turning it and going across the top of the paint like I did in these areas here. So while that's kind of coming together, what I think what I'll do next is the opposite colors while that's kind of coming back together. Uh, and what I mean by opposite colors, I'm gonna go ahead and um, do it in the opposite of what I put that one down as. So we'll put silver first, and then I'll end with white is what I'm trying to say. So we'll do silver first. And I'll do the rose gold. I'll make this one a little bit smaller too. The dark charcoal gray. 
And these are all metallics, by the way. And then cell activator number one, but with white. Amsterdam paint. Okay. Here we go. Some of it kind of started there. And I just don't do very well with the blows. I gotta, I, I gotta figure that out for myself um, before I can teach you how to do it. I'm really good at the swipe method, but uh, not so good at the blow, blowing it out. So I'm gonna do um, the same thing, the same colors, because I like those colors. Uh, but I'm gonna do a little bit of a swipe. So I'm gonna turn this this way. Okay, I'm still gonna let that one continue to spread. And we'll do the same color palette that I just did right here, where I did the silver. First, then the rose gold, next. A dark charcoal gray. And then we'll use a white, um, I'll use a palette knife and I'll get the white on it. Pretty cells happening there so we'll just let that kind of build up my spatula that okay so I've got some really cool stuff over here so I'm going to take and uh, these ones happen to be ones that my mom left me and so I'd like to try them first and I really would like to have a paper towel so that my gloves don't get paint on them on the glass and then I have to clean that up too so I'm just going to lay it in it very carefully And then I'm just gonna, here it is right there. Um, there, it's kind of going to the center a little bit there. And I'm just gonna let that go. And I'm gonna let it dry and see what happens, okay? I'm gonna do the same thing with this one right here. I'm hoping that maybe I can get some more cell action in this area here, but maybe not. Should have just swiped it in one direction. See all those nice pretty cells there? Okay. 
So just so you can see it very quickly, there it is. Um, and I'm just gonna let it dry like that, okay? So the next one is, um, this one right here has a divot in the center, so that's gonna be a little harder to get. So let me see, maybe right here. Yeah, see how you can't get the center very well? So let's see if that stretches down into that center right there. And if, if not, I can scrape some of this up and put it in there too as well, okay? And then um, I'm gonna go get a matching glass of that because these cells are coming up pretty good now. Oh yeah, so those cells are really starting to come nicely. So I just kind of want to put it in an area where I think would be cool. I think it'd be this one right here. And I'm just gonna let that kind of sink down into it. And then pull it up and then turn it over. So, there's those, we'll see what happens. Looks like this one right here needs to get some in there. So let me just see if I can scrape like that. Okay, so I got more of a darker one and I got more of a lighter one, kind of his and her kind of look to that. And um, these aren't the colors that I would typically use, but what I like about it is I might actually use some of this for a gift for them as well. So I like that. Okay, well, I will show you the dried results of those three and how they look. All right, bye. Okay, so before I show you the dried results of these glasses that I did today, I wanted to show you what I did on the bottom of them. I took some flakes, iridescent flakes, or, and on these ones in particular, you can also see that I did gold flakes, and I sprinkled them uh, on the bottom, and then I uh, put some varnish and some resin over top of it. So how I got it is I took the Liquitex medium gloss and I just spread it over top of, well, technically the bottom of the wine glass. And then I just sprinkled whether it was gold flex or iridescent flex. Now the lesson I learned was after you dry this, you need to press the flakes down. So after the glass is dry, press the flakes down because if not, you have bumps after you put the varnish or resin on it and then the glasses get tippy. <laughs> so definitely want to learn that lesson um, from me and um, make sure you press these flakes down. Um, I also varnished um, and resined these glasses that I did today and I ended up putting the Liquitex gloss over top of the bottom but then I also resined. So this is what you're seeing now is me spooning on the resin. And one of the lessons I learned here is that even though I use those cardboard box like things, it still dripped down my glasses. So what I did do the next time I tried this was I used tape and it worked great. Um, but you're still gonna get some type of resin or some type of varnish on the glass. You're gonna have to pay attention to that and scrape that off afterwards. But lots of lessons learned on this. Okay, so these are the colors that I've used and here comes the dried results. They're really pretty. They got those flakes on the bottom. Uh, they turned out really nice. These are crystal glasses that my mom left me that her grandmother left her and I was able to pass them down to my son. Super cool. Thanks for joining me. Thanks for joining me today. And if you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing and clicking that notification bell. And if you like this video, I bet you're gonna like these as well. Thanks a lot and have a great day. Bye. Bye.